Japan is going to restart the world's biggest nuclear power plant, Kashiwazaki Kariwa, almost 15 years after the Fukushima disaster. In 2011, 9.0 magnitude of earthquake and tsunami, it triggered the Fukushima Daiichi accident and it forced Japan to shut down all 54 nuclear reactors. It was the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Since then, Japan has depended heavily on the fossil fuel imports and it has increased the energy cost and the carbon emissions. Now, Japan is facing rising energy demand and the climate commitments. And that is why they are turning back to the nuclear power because it is considered to be a stable, low carbon energy source. Let me tell you about India. India operates 25 nuclear reactors across seven locations in states like Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, UP, two in Tamil Nadu and one in Karnataka. And this contributes about 3% of India's total electricity. I know as of now it's too low, but yes, we are progressing on this. India's largest nuclear power plant is the Kudankulam nuclear power plant in Tamil Nadu. Recently, we have bought Shanti Bill, the sustainable harnessing and advancement of nuclear energy for transforming India. The bill permits the private companies to participate in India's nuclear sector. It has enabled them to undertake the plant operations, power generation, equipment manufacturing and also some of the selected activities. Now, this is a step in shaping the next phase of India's nuclear journey. So we can see that nuclear power is once again at the center of the global energy debate and let's see where it goes.